Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this quadratic equation by using factoring method. This method is called no fuss factoring method. So let's go ahead and get started. Look at the left hand side of this equal sign. I want you to put it right up here on the right hand side. 18x square plus 9x minus 35. Now we're gonna try to factor these one out and we will be using this factoring method. The very first thing what I want you to do is I want you to put down two parentheses right up here like this one. Next step I want you to just put down this part only 18x. Do not write this exponent just simply disregard this exponent so we will be just putting down 18x right up here and 18x right up here next step i want you to multiply these end numbers which is what 18 and 35 i want you to write down just these 18 and 35 right up here 18 times 35. You can multiply these ones and then you can factor them out to get this 9 right now. You can see this we need a positive 9 in the middle. But the simple way I want you to do like this way, okay? I want you to just manipulate these numbers like this thing. 18 could be factored out to what? 3 times what? 6 and 35 could be factored out to what? 5 times 7, isn't it? Now, what is the next thing I want you to do is go ahead and multiply 5 times 6, which is what? 30. And 3 times 7 is going to give you what? 21. See right now, we got what? 30 and 21, if you subtract, we're going to get what? 9. Since we have a positive 9, I'm going to make positive 30 and negative 21. So I want you to put down these positive 30 and negative 21 right up here. So positive 30 is going to go right up here and minus 21 is going to go right up here. Your next step is going to be this one. Ask yourself in the first parentheses, what is the greatest common divisor, GCD, or which, what is the biggest number that divides into both of them? So that is going to be, of course, that is going to be what? And that is going to be 6, isn't it? And look at this thing. You tell me what numbers they're going to divide by this one. And yes, the biggest number is 3. That's right. And now, finally, once you do this thing, 6 goes into 18 what? 3 times. So 3x plus 5 times. This simply become what? 6x minus what? 7. And that turns out to be the factors of our this quadratic polynomial. So once we have done this one, I want you to put this one back right up here. So these right now, the left hand side, I can put over here these factors, which is what? 3x plus 5 times 6x minus 7. That is equal to 0. So once we have taken care of, care of these one, now since we have a two parentheses, they are multiplying and that is equal to zero, we can break them down. We can write them as a two separate equations. The first equation is going to be 3x plus 5 equal to zero. And the second equation on this side is going to be 6x minus 7 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and solve for x on both sides. That means we're going to isolate x. So first I want you to subtract 5 from both sides. This is gone. So what we got right now, we got 3x equal to what? Negative 5. Now I want you to divide both sides by 3. 
this 3 and 3 is gone. So x equal to negative 5 over 3 is one of our solution to this quadratic equation. Likewise, we're going to do the same process over here. Since this is negative 7, so we have to add 7 on both sides. This thing, what happened? This thing cancels out. So what we got? 6x equals to what? 7. Now I want you to divide by 6 both sides. This 6 and 6, they cancel each other out. So x by itself equals to what? 7 over 6. And that is our another solution. So thus our two solutions are either x equal to negative 5 over 3 or x equal to 7 over 6. Or we can write a little bit differently. We can write as this thing. We're going to say our solution 7 is going to be simply what? Our going to be what? Negative 5 over 3 comma 7 over 6 and that is our complete answer. Thanks for watching.